In this video, we are going to talk about, 10 inventions were ahead of their time. So, before we begin please like this video. Do subscribe and turn on the notification to our channel for future updates. Time changes potential technical progress. Smaller screens, faster transmissions, and worldwide connectivity were once unachievable. But some ancient items seem futuristic or modern today. Video calling is one example. This seems current, although it's from the 1960s. It was ahead of its time, but not as competitive as today's technology. We present 10 such things from the past. Number 10. The 1930s Henderson Streamline Motorcycles. This vehicle appears like it can reach tremendous speeds and possibly fly. This 20th century Henderson Streamline motorcycle appears futuristic. Henderson was a popular vintage motorcycle brand. William and Tom Henderson started the brand. Henderson bikes were speedy back then. These motorcycles' aerodynamic exteriors promised smoother riding. Knee action devices made riding smooth. Even the dashboard arrangement is different from a typical motorcycle. Number 9. Jet-powered aerotrains. Who knew 1960s had a hover train? France developed the aerotrain as an experimental TACV between 1965 and 1977. Jean Bertin invented aerotrains. Although similar to maglev trains, aerotrains are slightly different. Maglev trains use an electromagnetic track. Aerotrains traveled on air over a conventional track. Aerotrains would hover over a regular train track. The 1960s trains had futuristic thinking and technology. Since the train floated over the tracks, there was no friction, allowing for record speeds. Bertin built four trains. The first was a 30-foot, half-scale train that carried four people. His 75-foot-long version held 80 passengers. Fourth prototype sets air cushion vehicle speed record at 267.4 miles per hour. Number 8. Video calling. Bell Labs 1964 image phone wasn't well received. It was large and had faulty image transmission. People complained about the controls and the small picture. Six years later, in 1970, Bell Labs released a new picture phone. Three wire pairs connected the picture phone to the central office. The video signal was sent down one wire and up the other. Third wire was for two-way voice calls. When both calls were from the same central office, this was easy. Callers from multiple central offices caused extra complications. Number 7. Casio WQV-1 Wristwatch Camera. Apple hasn't released a watch camera yet. Apple Watch lacks a camera. The iPhone's camera must be connected for photographs. People took photos with their watches in the 1990s. Casio WQV-1 was the first camera watch. The first generation design has faults. Slow buffering, short battery life, and only black and white photos. Later 1990s Casio models had improved buffering, longer batteries, and colorful pictures. The wrist cam could only take 0.025 megapixel photographs, which looked grainy on a PC. Even the worst camera phones were better. This was revolutionary conceptually. Number 6. Trans World Airlines Center. TWA Flight Center is an airport facility at JFK in New York. The architect was Finnish-born American Aero Saarinen. The terminal was futuristic. The information desk inside looks like something from a sci-fi movie. The building resembled a flying bird. The roof's two elongated wings resembled a bird with outstretched wings. The terminal's interior boasts cavernous arches and vast glass walls. The glass walls created the sense of looking down after takeoff. The terminal design was unlike the concrete airport terminals of that era. Saarinen's TWA design still stands out among modern airports. Number 5. 1990 Mazda Cosmo. 
1990's fourth-generation Mazda Cosmo was futuristic. Yuno's Cosmo was based on a 1985 concept automobile. Yuno's was Mazda's sole triple-rotor car. Luxury car with great features. Number 4. Sega Channel. Modern society accepts online gaming. Before the mid-2010s, people played against each other in a different way. Sega Channel was a groundbreaking video game service. Sega debuted a pay-to-play service in 1994. The service let gamers play through cable. After purchasing and activating the service, gamers received an adapter. The console's cartridge slot held the adapter. This connects to the TV's wiring. Activating the device displayed the main menu on the TV, where gamers could select and download games. Over 70 games were available. In 1998, Sega Channel closed. People thought the $14.99 monthly subscription price was too much. Sega existed before PS2 and Xbox. Number 3. Laptop-like computer. The Soviets were technologically advanced. Smart home concepts seemed futuristic in 1987. Soviet industrial designer Dmitry Azrakhan created the Sphinx Station computer. Azrakhan sought to design a home automation system to replace remotes, recorders, phones, watches, TVs, etc. He aspired to construct today's smart home. Plans included an informational service, a home control system, and medical diagnostics. Number 2. Radio-Controlled Lawnmower. Radio-Controlled Lawnmower ads called it The Thing. The name The Thing fits this 1950s lawnmower. The ad shows Jim Walker mowing his lawn with a remote-controlled lawnmower. Jim Walker invented the remote-controlled lawnmower in 1948. He demonstrated his innovation at Chicago Sportsman's Pier. Number 1. Hamblin Glasses. Stressful to read in bed. The book must be held high so it's visible. 1930s folks had a solution. Hamblin spectacles were invented in 1936 to tackle this issue. The spectacles worked like periscopes with mirrors that reflected light in strange ways. You can read a book on your stomach by gazing straight up, as shown. Similar spectacles were reintroduced in 2013 to enable individuals to view TV while lying down. 10 pound glasses. So, that's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on our video? Please let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification to our channel before you go. Thank you so much for watching.